Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video and we are over on Fjordor and you can see that I am over at the actual Megapithecus spawn. I've been testing a few different things that we can do in order to actually glitch fight this thing so you don't actually have to fight him at all and you can kind of just sit safely. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Pretty simple actually. All you need is a shotgun, literally, and then a frog. That's it. That's all you need. Pretty simple. So, anyways, this is the best strategy that I have found so far. Hopefully this helps you out. If you don't mind, smash that like button, leave a comment below for the algorithm, and then if you want to subscribe to the channel, that would be awesome. Hopefully this sub, uh, this sub helps you out. That's kind of like what I'm trying to do with all this stuff, but uh, that's that's it. Again, pretty simple. Um, now with the Bezel Bufo, the reason that we have it is it's small and it can jump. Okay, that's why we have a Bezel Bufo. Now there are a few different ledges that you can stand on, um, but it's up to you whether you want to go to those specific ledges or not. So use your jump command and basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna skirt around the back side of this guy. Now the reason that we're gonna do that, we don't wanna fight him, we're just gonna get him to a point where he can't do damage to us. And if you do it quick enough, you can literally outrun all of his little minions and get into this cave back here. Now, once you've gotten to this cave, you can sit up on this ledge, and I kid you not, right here, he cannot get in here. Yep, and then you just whip out your shotgun, and uh, yeah, he'll throw his rock, so that's about the most dangerous thing. Uh, you can uh, inevitably just move a little bit, or when he throws the rock, drop down. The big scary part is when he gets these guys in here, you're gonna see him throw his rock again. That will hit you, but you're gonna see that this right here, it's uh, basically they're just dropping right there. Now what you can do as well if you want to, and again, I'm just showing you best case scenario, you can actually just sit up on this ledge if you sit in the right spot. And uh, we're just gonna drop down right here. And you can literally just sit right here. Now you don't have to, this is probably one of the most interesting spots because they kind of just get glitched out when they're trying to get to you. Um, and you'll see that rock will still hit you, so you do have to avoid that. The other thing that you can do, if you want to, is this rock right here is very nice. Because if you sit up on the edge of this rock, just on this right here, there we go. He literally will hit that rock every time he tries to throw his rock at you, and you can just blast him. So basically just use this cave, and you can see they just kind of like drop down and get stuck. And he can't do anything about it. So he'll throw his rock, you'll see him hit that rock, and it bounces off to the right nothing he can do this is like the little corner of justice right here and uh, you're just safe right here there's literally nothing he can do so you just sit back here and smoke him with the shotgun watch the rock hit that bounce up there now this is literally the entire boss fight so he can't get into this cave so whatever you have just make sure you're in here if you have two people what i would do is have one guy on a rex just eating all the small tames and then one guy just sitting exactly where i am right now uh, shredding this boss so there's literally nothing he can do and this is just how you hack the boss. And this is how we, you do the uh, the Megapithecus on center. Pretty easy little strategy. And uh, yeah, it's, it's not very difficult. You just sit here and slaughter him. That's, that's as hard as it is. And the reason that we use the frog is because you can get the weapon out on the frog. So there is no grappling hooks and stuff like that. You just have to use the frog in order to get to this corner that I'm in right now. And you just sit and mow him down with the shotgun. It's really that easy. Um, there's nothing super fancy about it, obviously. You can see that I've literally brought in a terrible Beazle Bufo. I'm in GCM mode, but I can easily take it off and take zero damage this entire fight once you figure out what you're doing. As long as you just run to this back cave, jump up to the corner I'm in, there's literally nothing this thing can do and you just have your shotgun out smoking them. Now, with one person, this is obviously gonna take the longest, but you can do this with a whole bunch of people. What I mean, idealistically, what you would wanna do is you would have one guy down there killing those things with the Rex or a anything that can fight back or knock back, really, and then two guys sitting up where I am uh, shooting him with the shotgun or even just running around in this cave if you have a Rex covering you, and that's how I would do it with multiple people. But with one person, you just sit up here with the Bezel Bufo, um, those little guys will throw their poop at you, so you want to be careful about that. Um, you can see them every now and then they throw their little poops up. Um, but uh, it, it's a pretty easy thing. So as long as you're wearing fur as well, make sure you're wearing fur, otherwise you will lose health because it is a cold cave. Have some med brews on you just in case you want to be ready for that. Uh, and that's pretty much everything you're going to need. I'd say usually about if you're doing one person, I would bring 300 shots. Um, that's what I would bring at least. I did not mean to hit those things actually, whoops. But uh, 300 shots in a cap shotgun and that will do the trick. If you have more than that, that's fine. Uh, you're, it's just extra that you're gonna be able to use so you can't complain. But this is 120 free element, so like I don't care who you are, that's, that's not too bad. Plus the uh, artifact and boss battle that you need to have done. 
um, and this will let you beat any of the Fenrir, Fenrir so whatever it is. So you can see right there, that's as easy as it is. You just hide in that corner back there, and uh, boom. And because you are out of range, you will need to go up to him in order to, to get his loot. Uh, yeah, so where, where where's your inventory? Why can't I access your inventory, buddy? Let me see. Where are you? No, nope, you're not gonna. Okay, cool. Anyways, maybe. Oh nope, it went in my inventory. Okay, cool. 120, and then that, that's it. Like pretty simple. Th these caves in the back used to be where you'd beat the boss, and then an artifact would spawn in there, and that's how you would get one of the artifacts. But now you can just use them in order to hide in because yeah, he just gets stuck. So pretty freaking simple. Um, yeah, there's, there's, I mean, there's a lot of different ways you can do this boss fight. I've, uh, tested on multiple ledges. You can sit up on this ledge up here. Uh, the only thing you want to be careful of is when he throws his rock, you gotta just, like, jump out of the way of it. Um, and that's, that's something you want to be careful of because that rock will hurt you very bad. There's a couple of ledges on the far side you can use, but it's pretty simple. So... Anyways, hopefully this little hack helps you guys out a bunch because it's something that's helped me out. If you want to look below, by the way, there's a 5% off code for G Portal. And then if you want to join my cluster, there's a link down beneath that you can use in order to join my server cluster as well. But that is how you beat the boss super, super easily. So hopefully this video helps you out. And other than that, teach. Ow.